eBay has created a whole new portal for the platform, and you and I will never, ever be able to use that. They have also turned over complete access to the government for the entire site, and that is not clickbait. Hey, it's done. Today we're going to look at an announcement from eBay talking about the new portal that they created. I did allude to this coming down the line in several videos in the last week or so, but this is now confirmed for the U.S. and the whole works, meaning that they have created a portal that will openly and freely allow government officials, whoever they deem fit, whether they're post office, U.S. personnel, or foreign personnel as well, to come in and automatically take down your listings without even discussing it with eBay ahead of time or checking or anything else. We have no idea on what the information they will be able to get from us. eBay already has your bank account. They already have obviously your address and other information without actually providing proof to eBay ahead of time that you have done something wrong. They are openly allowing the U.S. government and foreign governments to come in and take down listings based on what they see is the case. Even if that is right or wrong, it does not matter. They still have the access. We're going to hop over right now to eBay's announcement on this exact process and show you for yourself. So here is the announcement. It's straight from ebayinc.com and it goes into the whole aspect of it here. Now, it originally alludes to the fact that they'll be able to report the item quicker, but when you read down into the small print here, and I again recommend every single person out there checking this out, I will include a link to this as well down in the description box. The most important line is right here. Now the marketplace is going one step further as it gives selected trusted authorities the ability to take down any listing from the platform themselves where they have evidence of a risk to consumer safety without needing approval from eBay. Well, I know it's for the consumer safety aspect is what they're saying, but they're giving access to the U.S. Postal Inspector Service, which I've assumed and stated as such for a couple of years now, Westminster City Council Trading Standards, which is a British uh, regulatory commission in England, um, there's a German one as well, uh, Health Product Regulation Group, and over 50 other authorities around the world already on board. The platform has entered its beta phase. They're offering this to many more people. We have no way to know at this point what type of information they will give out. My biggest issue, without proving you have done anything wrong, eBay will be granting the access to much of our data. Are they going to be given access to our personal information? Are they going to be given access to our banking information as well, which they have under managed payments. In the past, if you wanted that sort of information, you had to produce some sort of proof to a court for a subpoena or at least a search warrant to get said such information. We don't know what this means. eBay is openly offering this without even having somebody report an item. They are just openly and freely giving access to eBay, the whole platform, to many people, not even in our own country of origin. So that has very big implications in my book to the security, uh, longevity, and the comfort of those selling on the site. There is also something going before Congress right now where they are trying to get everybody who sells on an online platform to publicly post their address and much of their information, opening up everybody also to further issues like this. But openly giving someone access to your personal information is a very big issue for me. Again, I will have a link to this one here. I would honestly recommend everybody out there reading this entire article from start to finish because, again, at this point, they have free and clear access to take down any one of your listings. This is the only site that I am aware is doing this. This is also something I've talked about in the past. Many people will get on me if I say report people doing wrong and violating acts against eBay because they will come down hard on the rest of the site. And that is exactly what happens. If you are a seller on a platform, that is basically your store while you're selling your items on it. Why wouldn't you want to police it so that you are seen in a better light 
liked by those who actually shop on the platform. Personally, I don't list anything that's against the rules or policies intentionally ever. I don't try to ship anything wrong. I don't list things that could be a violation like alcohol, tobacco, fireworks, or any of that sort of thing at all. So if you follow the rules, you follow the law, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. But the bottom end is I do not believe that this should be something that is allowed to have free and open access to the government before there's been any inclination of something being done wrong by any of us. Again, I feel I should be considered innocent until proven guilty, and my information should not be openly shared unless I have openly done something wrong. Now, on another note here, as most all of you should know, the CEO of the company now, eBay, was from Walmart. And as the trend continues and you wonder why they are getting rid of the adult category and many other things that are making terrible decisions going on right now with eBay, they are going to step it up one more notch and hire another person who is VP and GM of Walmart Connected to help run eBay more into the ground than they have in the past. It seems to be that they are now hiring people from Walmart left and right to turn eBay into Walmart number two. Or for all we know, maybe there's some acquisition attempt going on behind the scenes to structure the company again. These are all opinions on this type of thing, but this is the second major exec, including the CEO of the company who worked for Walmart. I am in no way condoning or would be interested in people from Walmart running eBay the way they run Walmart, but that again seems to be all what happens to be going on right now. This should be something else you should look into. Look into things like this. Look into the people's backgrounds, who they work for, what type of degree they have, what's their education. You'll be shocked and surprised that many of these folks are coming from retail only and do not have a clue on selling secondhand antiques, collectibles, or anything like that. So if you got to wonder why the direction of the company is going in this direction, it's because the platform these folks who are running the company now used to work on, Walmart, did not allow these items on the platform, in my opinion again. You can come to your own conjecture on this, but at this point, it's very clear to me what is going on. They're trying to Walmartify the platform, trying to compete with Amazon, the number one in the market, and now Shopify, number two in the market, by using something even lower than those levels of ranking is just not a smart procedure. If they wanted to go after Amazon, they should start hiring Amazon people over Walmart people, in my opinion. Again, another terrible decision. If you you read into what she used to do for 14 years. She worked at Goldman Sachs in the consumer retail and healthcare investment banking. That means they invested heavily into health supplies, medical supplies, retail things. Part of the reason why the prices are so high on so many items is because of these short-term investments, these basically gambling and betting on items not doing well and things like that. Just like the big short. This is not a good sign in my opinion. I would never consider hiring anybody from Goldman Sachs who covered areas of health care just for the sheer aspect of how it look to the general public on how everybody is getting scammed in health care to begin with. Our country here, the United States, every citizen pays more on health care and medical supplies than any other country, and it is allowed by our government, which is a scary fact. So I would seriously, 100%, be worried by these sorts of actions. It, in my opinion, does not make a good light with all of what's going on in the culture and society today that you hire somebody with this sort of experience, unless you're going in a Walmart direction again. Walmart sold medical supplies. Walmart has a pharmacy. Amazon is looking to get into that business too. Is that eBay's next step to try and push out some of these smaller antiques and collectibles items? I don't know, but I am seriously concerned that that is what is going on based on who they are hiring, based on their background, based on the people already running the company now. Again, something else to read. They're proud and happy of all of these announcements personally. They're proud and happy of their regulatory portal that will allow people to 
to randomly take items down without even discussing it with eBay first. They are the first ones that I can think of, again, going in the wrong direction, that have opened up their books, their information to law enforcement without even preemptively needing to. Apple, on the other hand, and some of the other platforms out there are doing the opposite. They are requiring legal documents to shut things down or to proceed on somebody to prove that they actually committed a crime or did something that they weren't supposed to do. So I do have a problem with all of what is going on. We have been hit with major things like this pretty much almost on a weekly basis. It almost honestly makes me wonder if the intent is to scare off the folks because they don't need our money anymore because of the billions of dollars they're making over managed payments and possible dealings with other companies such as Walmart. This is something to consider. This is major news to me and gives me a big sign on which direction they are obviously going in. Well, there you have it. If you're unaware of this, if your friends are unaware of this, I would personally share this with anybody you can because this is big major news to everybody. But if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. With Lego, you can build buses and houses and bridges and helicopters, even the new safety rail on the Sunnydale Bridge. Helicopters to tow truck, telephone pole, down on Main Street. Lego building set 145 has wheels, windows, movable shutters and doors, and hundreds of bricks for building. There's no end to Lego.